I'm doing this video because I had someone on one of my videos, well, specifically a routing video where I use machine to route to Studio One. In this video, I will be using Bitwig. It's the same across any DAW that you're using as long as it support external outputs, right? And I think all of them do. How it works in standalone and how it works when you're using a DAW. So whatever I show you right now in machine, it's the same exact way inside the hardware. And I believe this works with the plus. I don't have the plus, but it's pretty much the same concept. Here's the software that talks to the hardware. The question was specifically centered around UJAM products. So in this case, I'm gonna go here to the first sound and then we're going to, I'm gonna flip over to the, the plugin and you can go into your VST3 or VST, whichever one that you prefer to use, or audio units if you're working on a Mac. I'm working on a Mac, but this should be self-explanatory. Let's try idle before I go there, just real quick. Let me show you the concept here. I did a video, mini video, v videos using UJAM products. So I have dope. For instance, and Clan. right, most of UJAM products, you are able to separate the sounds so it can come out. So right now, I'm using just my regular keyboard. I want each sound to come out individually. What you have to do is go to each note and switch it to individual, individual. Let me see if I can speed the video up so that all of them are out individually. Clan. Okay, so if I click on any of these notes, you see that they are already switched over to individual. So between these two buttons, by default, it come out as master, which is stereo. You want it to be on its individual channel. So now in Bitwig, and it, again, it's the same process in most dolls. As long as you know how to get to where you can export out on the back end like this. Now when I go, you should be able to see that. So if I switch over to the mixer side of this here, this is like my external outs. Right, so that's the concept. I showed this in Studio One, it's, it's the same stuff. So if you're working with a doll, that's how that works. But just imagine how that works inside of machine as a standalone. So I'm gonna mute that, because we're not using that. Same concept, but you know, we're in the doll, right? So forgive forgive me if this if this is not clear, but just imagine machine. <laughs> by itself i guess to make it more realistic i'll just throw up this image on the on the screen the first thing you do you're going to do on the first pad you're going to grab whatever instrument so in this case it would be and first of all let me let me just uh give you guys let's switch it back over just so y'all can see what's happening in order to get whatever plug-in because you want this open so let me close that again you want to click here just so you can open the plug-in and then you want to do that same process you saw me do you got to go to each individual and make it individual All right, so everything is coming out individually. Now, here's the next step. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just close this because at this point we don't really need it. We we just needed to do that. That's the main thing. But you, that's how you open it up in case you need it. So inside of here, let let me try to explain and make it make sense because this is going to get a little complicated. 
the instrument is on pad one. In order to in order to access any of the instrument or the sounds in this instrument, you on the machine itself, you have to go to keyboard mode in order to access whatever because it's a it's a multi deal inside of one pad. Now, when we start routing everything over, you will not have access to each pad to activate this one deal that's on the first pad. Just to make that clear. The only way to get the sounds to come out of each pad in terms of audio is to do it this way. But you're always going to be on the first pad. So you have to switch the machine over to keyboard keyboard mode on the first pad otherwise if you leave it on pad mode pad mode will active you know you will you will have access to empty pads in this case you're not using the pads to program a beat these pads are just audio signals that support the individual out the separate out of this one instrument so i i, I just want to Make that clear. So some people might be okay with that. They just want individual outs of this. And I would think essentially this works for any instrument that works like this, that has the ability to give you multi outs. And this is how you would do that. Now I'm going to show you how this works in the software. And then I'm going to show you where to go on the machine. So we're going to switch over to inputs. Now, after I have done the individual switch over, like you guys saw me do, you have to make sure you do that first. Otherwise, you won't see what's going on. Nothing will pop up. All right. So the next thing, this is what I'm talking about. You won't see any of these if you have not did that process first. But because I opened up everything, it gives me more so like an assignment and a list just like this. So everything is up to 16, so to speak. Now, at this point, you you need to make up your mind which one you want to which one you want to do. Well, actually, I would do this. So I will make sound to S2, A1, which is the group number because we are in the group group A of machine. S12, sound two. Next one. It's going to be three. Next one is going to be four. Next one is going to be five. I'm going to leave the, the rest to the machine itself. You see most of them lit up because we, we, we gave it an assignment. You know, it sees it as something coming through. Click on channel MIDI at the top left. And then... You can toggle between the different ones you want to set it to. So right now, as you can see, this one is lit. This is nine. So I'm going to go back to nine. So I won't confuse myself. Click on the next pad. This one is going to be 13 because we stopped at 12, right? So then I'm going to say 13. If you guys can't see the image clearly that's that's my camera and the lighting so i'll try to explain the best way i can so now the next one is going to be 14 this one's going to be 15 and the last one is going to be 16 right and that's and that's how you do it from the machine itself if you you know prefer to do it that way now, that's just the routing aspect. Now, we could be done right now. But let me let's let's go back to the first pad. Remember, you got to hit keyboard mode. Reactivate that is it's playing the, the loop in, inside of you, Jam. Now. This is confusing, I know, OK. Ella, you you just said you couldn't 
get these individual pads. Well, I'm in keyboard mode right now, not pad mode. See, pad mode is different. Pad mode is the true pad that carries the sound. Each pad can be a sample on there or it can be an instrument on there. And anytime you put an instrument like a bass or massive or whatever, you, you always have to go to keyboard mode to access those sounds in that one instrument. This is the same deal. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on pad one because the instrument lives on pad one and then click the keyboard. And now everything is coming out its own routing, not the pad, the routing, as you can see. Machine is is now displaying in terms of the the mixer how everything is split to go a step further which is why i am again i'm in bitwig or a doll essentially everything in terms of input was assigned to each pad or each mixer lane because each pad also represents each mixer lane we can also export these out individually and now we're going to do or kind of follow the same process I showed you I showed you guys in the beginning of the video where if I put you jam in there standalone instrument without using machine you notice how I was able to get everything to talk inside of Bitwig well in machine it's the same process if you're using a DAW and you want machine pads to come out individually. Now, let's think about that for a second. Even if we are not using UJAM because this video is centered around that. If you're using the pads on a machine, like say like you throw samples in there or you, you go for a group or any of the packs that, that you have, you know, machine, whatever, or some samples you have that you threw on a pad because you can do that. And you want each pad to come out individually. This is the same exact process. Now, this process is universal, I, I guess I would say, because now you want everything to come out of your DAW to link up with what machine is doing, because by default, machine is stereo. So when you throw machine up in here as a plug in, everything comes out of one and two. That's it. You want to split everything up this is the process of of doing that so i'm gonna click back over here and now instead of being in the input we're going to go to the output this is where it gets interesting i can do the same process as i did with ujam where i just hit the all add missing chains i've already done that here but right now we did not export or change the output of any of the pads so even though the input is already set to each pad in keyboard keyboard mode on the machine as you can see on the, inside of bitwig all all of the audio is coming out of just stereo right now you know just this line right here it's that's so essentially we didn't like ex, you know what i mean we didn't split out the the routing so Here's what we're going to do inside of machine. We're going to go back to two. We are already on output and by default, like, you know, it's going to be group, but now we can say, now this is the part where you have to kind of make up your mind what you want, what you want to do. Do you want it to say external one or external two? Because it goes all the way up to, to 16. But I believe on the first one, the very first one will be the stereo situation of like that loop deal that that, you, that I accidentally keep pressing. I'm going to say external two for, for pad two. Let me go here and I'm going to say external three. And then for pad four, external four, five, four. This one's going to say five.
So again, on the machine, we we were we were in input at first, right? So again, make sure you hit the channel MIDI MIDI deal here, this button top left. But instead of being an in input, we're going to toggle this over to where it says output. See, this one is input. That's output. And you toggle like this. And you can see it down here. This is our destination, the external or whatever, right? So we stopped at 10. <coughs> I'm going to switch this back over to pad because in this instance, we need to we work it from pad mode. So again, we press that button, make sure we on output. We stopped at 10. Now, 11 is group. We're going to just say 11. Pad 12. This is going to be 12. 13. 14. 15 and now 16 click on each button each button just to make sure that everything is lined up so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh we missed this one we want this to say 11 right 12 13 14 15 16 all right, so we're ready to go. Click the first pad, go back to keyboard mode, keyboard mode, and it, it just like you jam as standalone inside of Bitwig, I can treat this the same for machine. Open it up. If you have questions, about how this works then let me know comment in, in this in, and also comment in, in and let me know if you uh, you know you understand the video and let me know if this is something you feel like you can use in your production endeavors i'm ella from b culture lifestyle governed by art